you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. How do you feel overall jail affected you? Um, well, one thing it did, it broadened my horizon because it got me out of, out of just my neighborhood and out of my city. See, I went to feds as a kid. I didn't go to state prison where it was just, you know, segregated, my hood, your hood, you know, we tripping with everybody. I went to the federal system. And, and, and not only did I go to the feds, my first stop in the feds was, was Southern California, Terminal Island. So when I hit that compound, I was there with Crips, Bloods, Nathaniels, Serenios. That was it. And it was a metal factory, and, and, and all they did was sharpen up knives all day on that compound. So right then, I, I had to figure out what structure was as a kid. I came into a whole different world. So, you know, I figured that out fast. I had figured out what authority was. I had to figure out what leadership was. You know, and I had to figure out, was I going to be a leader or a follower? And one of the first things I figured out when I got there is I'm going to be a leader. So I got next to the leaders when I got there. And, and when I did that, I realized how to, how to work. And, and if you want to stay alive in a situation like that, if you want to keep your respect, keep your manhood and live by morals that you believe in, it's, it's best to be a leader. Because if you follow, well, you're going to follow into some bullshit. So I became a leader from a time from a young compound. You know, I, I, I took leadership um, and then I got shipped to seven different institutions across the country because I kicked off a crack, a crack riot at, at Terminal. I didn't have a crack case. Yeah. But being a leader, when the uh, federal government turned down the crack law in 1995, I had to tell the compound, set it off. Yeah. You feel me? That crack riot got me banned from the West Coast. I was put on diesel therapy and shot all over the East Coast. So now I'm functioning with New York niggas, Philly niggas, D.C. niggas, and I'm on a compound with 10 Cali niggas, you know what I mean? I had to run a California car where we got to be on point with all these different sections in all these different states. At any time, it could go up. Yeah. So my leadership kept us alive. My leadership kept us out of bullshit. And I realized that, you know, it could have went either way in there. And, and I used that same principle when I came home, yeah. you know, I was sent to prison behind an informant, a rat, or whatever you want to call these niggas. Yeah. And, and, and so I have no understanding for them because a man took my freedom because he couldn't do his time and he turned me in. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He couldn't do his time, so he sent me to jail to go do it for him on some other shit that had nothing to do with what he got in trouble with in the yeah. first place. So my understanding with informants and rats is I don't fuck with them, stay away from me. If you won... I can't deal with you, whether you're friend or family. Keep that shit over there. No, I feel you. That's fucked up, especially if it was some yeah. shit that had nothing to do with like, Yeah, you so, so I carry all these same principles from prison, which kept me alive and kept me well-respected. And I kept these same principles here when I came back to the streets. And, and I stand on it. I, I, I'll always stand on, on the things that I, I believe in. You know, and like I say, that's just part of being a leader. A lot of people stand on shit that they followed into. You know, they, oh, I learned this from so-and-so, or I learned this from so-and-so, so this is what I believe. But if you ain't you ain't did your own research and you ain't did your own your own backup, or you ain't been through your own shit to make you really want to follow this, then you probably might be following something that you don't even, or shouldn't even be following. So and my whole thing is, I, I, I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I don't follow nobody. Do you, do you feel like when you when you when you went into to jail and like you got in there that was that the mindset you had at that time or was that something that just kind of grew up on you over the years? I grew. It had to grow. You know what I mean? You had. I was young. I was too young to just say that I was just gonna be this this that. I had went in there and I was I was like I said I got with people that were already at the statue in prison where I wanted to be. Once I got there, I got the niggas that was already calling shots in prison. That already was doing shit, and I'm learning. Yeah, I'm a kid. We going to lift weights together. You know what I mean? I'm not even asking no questions. I'm just paying attention. I'm yeah. that type of doc. I pay attention. I'm very well. I'm not. A, I'm not the one doing all the chatter, chatter normally. I'm sitting back and I'm watching shit, and I'm watching how it go. So you going you going to jail at 19 years old? You know you got to sit around there for 10 years. You might want to figure out how shit work before you just go in there and just try to be a reckless nigga. Nah, for sure, for you sure. Know what I'm saying.